What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be cleaning out and reorganizing, redecorating my car because it has just been a mess for way, way too long and I just can't deal with it anymore. I love my car and it does not deserve to be this messy. So we're going to be going to get it washed, get it vacuumed out. We're going to do a little haul of some stuff that I bought for it and clean the inside, get rid of all the dust and everything off the floor redecorate it and I think it'll be super fun so let's just hop right into it. So here is my car before. I have a bright red 2012 Ford Focus and I love her. Uh, as you can see the outside has a lot of bird poop and dirt on it and then my windshield has lots of nasty stuff. Here's the inside of my car. The cup holders are disgusting. Uh, nothing really in that center console. Um, lots of dirt and grass and crumbs rocks, little things all over the floor, and some stains on the seat, and yeah. My car is pretty messy and dirty and gross. There's just lots of dirt and grass and things on the floor, straw wrappers, and lots of gunk in my cup holders and stuff. I definitely need to go vacuum it, and then I'm also getting it washed because there's also lots of like crustiness on the windshield and stuff, and bird poop all over my windows. So we're gonna go wash it and get it vacuumed and clean it out get rid of all the gunk and make it nice inside. Down, yeah. I've been feeling so, I've been feeling so down, yeah. Can you tell me why? Can you tell me why? I've ordered a lot of things for my car. Not a lot. It's like four things. Um, but I've gotten some things for my car to help make it cleaner and cuter and, you know, better. So I'll let you know where I got everything from. First, I have this. It kind of looks like a lunchbox, but this is a garbage can for your car. So you got this opening on the top, stick the garbage in there. And then it's insulated inside, um, so you can also use it to, like, bring drinks if you're going to a cookout or something like that. But I like it because nothing will spill out of there if you have you know, like a cup with a little bit of liquid left in it. And then this little clip here, you just hang it. You can hang it on the back of one of the seats. I'm probably going to put it on the back of the passenger seat. And there's also some pockets on the side. I think I'm going to take some little garbage bags. I have little like just four gallon garbage bags. I think that's what they're called. I don't know, but I'm probably going to stick one in here just so I don't get any like gunk or anything stuck on the inside of it and I'll probably leave a few extra garbage bags in this side pocket but this I think is gonna be amazing because um, whenever I have my brother in my car and we go get fast food together he throws straw wrappers at me and then they land between the seats and I don't know where they are and it's a catastrophe and it makes my car a mess and I'm just very excited to now have a garbage can so no garbage will accumulate on the floor of my car. If I didn't already mention it, this is from Amazon. I'll have everything linked down below if I can find it. Then I got this. This is from Five Below and I've actually had two of these and broken them so they're probably not the greatest quality or I'm just not gentle with my things but this is just a phone mount. Uh, they have a few different colors. I just get the black one of course because I don't like anything to be colorful in my car or in my life, even though my car is bright red. The interior of it is all black and everything that I have for it is black. You can stick this on your windshield or on your dash and I'm really bad at doing directions when I drive, when I use my phone GPS, so I have to actually physically be able to look at it and if I look down at my phone, that's just not safe while you're driving, so having it stuck up on the dash, on the windshield, is what works best for me and I just needed a new one because I've broken the last two that I had and I haven't got a new one since. So this is from Five Below. Then also from Amazon I got these. These are just little coasters. I don't know if you can see them. They're just plain black um, and these are for my cup holders. I have in my cup holders a lot of gunk. You know lots of coffee just spills in there or water or whatever drink I have and it builds up and then it kind of sticks to the cup holder and it gets really gross. I have coins that are stuck in my cup holder because of because of the coffee and all the liquid drinks that have spilled and just stuck the coins on there so I can't get them out. So this is gonna cover up the existing gunk already in my cup holders and then if I get any more gross stuff on them I can just easily wipe these off. Um, so I think these are gonna be really good. I hope they fit. I think they will but 
I really hope so. Lastly, this is something I've seen people talk about a ton, and it is this dust cleaning gel. It's basically a slime. That's what it looks like. And it just helps you get rid of dust in the little crevices and corners that are hard to get. So in your car, like your air vents, and it shows your cup holders, and just all on your dash and everything like that. I think this is going to be great. My car gets very dusty, and again, because I have a black interior, it gets... You can see the dust a lot more easily, so... I'm hoping this will help clean that all up and I'm very excited to use this. I used it on my laptop keyboard the other day and it worked pretty well at getting rid of all the dust and stuff between my keys so I have high hopes for this in my car. And it's also from Amazon. So yesterday I got my car washed and vacuumed the inside of it as you saw and now I'm gonna go finish cleaning the inside. I just have a bunch of coins and stuff like all over the floor. I'm not sure why and then we're gonna put all this new stuff in it and make it look nice and good and clean. Now in my car, sorry for the air conditioner, it's so hot in here, I'll turn it off once I cool down a little bit. I'm gonna start off using the dust cleaning gel and get right here my wheels super dusty on top and then right here, you can't see it, but this is my center like control system with all the buttons and vents. And then I've got little compartments in here that are super dusty, so I'm gonna get those. This stuff is so great. All the dust is like gone now. All these tiny little crevices that I just cleaned out with this slime stuff look so disgusting. I'm not gonna show you for your own safety and benefit because this looks so gross, but it got rid of the nasty stuff in my little crevices. It's not the best at getting rid of all the dust that I have. I mean, it gets rid of it somewhat, but it's really good at getting the gross stuff out of your crevices, like crumbs and things like that. So I would definitely recommend it for that purpose. Let's attach this garbage can right here. There's a hook on the bottom of it. I don't really know what this is for. So I'm just gonna leave it dangling down. There we go. A little garbage can right there, you can see the bag. It's gonna be so useful. I'm so excited about that. All right, so I got rid of as many coins and gunk out of these cup holders as I could. But other than that, they're just a lost cause. So we're putting the coasters over top of them so I never have to deal with the gunk until I get rid of this car, which I don't know when that'll be. I'll probably have this car through college at least, so. There, good. They don't totally cover all the gunk. But you know what? It's so much better. Up here, you can't see it again, but my um, passenger side visor i have a scent thing this is from bath and body works i haven't changed out the scent in a long time so i'm just gonna throw this one away in my new handy dandy garbage can this uh little what would you call this little case thing that i keep the scents in this is also from bath and body works that's where i get all the scents from it's just plain black and I've got a new scent, scent portable is that what it's called? I don't know. This is the stress relief one because we could all use that. Oh my god, it already smells so much better. You're supposed to change these technically like every six weeks or something like that, I think. And I change it maybe every six months. So, it smells so good. And I just leave that up on my passenger visor. Perfect. The last thing to do now is store the dust cleaning gel and then my car phone mount. So here is my center console. I don't think any of these will fit in here though. Sorry, I just switched the angle. I had to take this down for a second because there was some random guy like standing in my yard. Anyway, um, these last two little bits that I have are just gonna go in my glove compartment. That's where I kind of keep all this kind of stuff. And there we go, everything is clean. Everything is put away and organized. So now I can give you guys the official car tour. Down. I just pushed my seat back so you could see, you know, here's my nice little wheel and my dash and everything. This is my, you know, console, whatever. I got the air conditioning on low so I don't die, but I'm kind of dying with it being this low. You know, got the radio and everything like that. On my driver door, I have down here an umbrella just in case it rains really bad or something like that. I just feel like it's good to have this in the car, so I keep that right in there. The new cup holders covering up the grossness. And then this is my little center console thing. I don't keep anything in here. I just have my aux cord and this just stays out because I use it most of the time to 
play music, obviously. <coughs> Passenger side, nothing interesting here. Um, but then we have my glove box. Obviously, I showed you I have my phone GPS holder in there. I've got my cleaning gel. I have one direction duct tape because I feel like it's just important to have duct tape and the only kind that I had in my house was one direction so I have that in here I have this little pouch I'll show you what's in here in just a minute lastly this is just the owner guide and all that important stuff that you don't need to see this is my emergency little pouch I feel like everybody needs to have one of these in their car I have a mask in there for current times just in case, you know, I'm running out somewhere and I forget to bring my mask because, you know, we have to wear them everywhere now. Or if I'm going somewhere with a friend or family member and they forgot to bring a mask, I just have an extra one. I feel like it just never hurts to have extras. I have feminine products, of course, because you never know when you're going to need those. This little guy, he's kind of fun. This is just a poncho inside. I don't know why I have both a poncho and an umbrella, but... I got this as a stocking stuffer for Christmas a couple years ago and I just keep it in here. I also just have some lotion, hand cream because it is the worst feeling when your hands are dry. And then also lip balm because uh, nobody wants to have dry lips. Dry hands and dry lips are just the worst so having these is very important to me. Scissors, I also feel like it's important to have scissors in your car because you never know when you're going to need them and they're just handy. Just got some little kid scissors. And lastly I have this thing that my grandma gave me. You use this if you're stuck in your car and you can't get out. You smash the window with this little guy here. And then uh, this thing is a seatbelt cutter. So if you're also, you know, stuck in your car and you can't get out of your seat, you can cut your seatbelt open with that. That's my little handy dandy important bag of things that you never know when you might need them. I don't have anything either, not in any of the side cup holders or anything. But we do have on the back of the passenger seat my garbage can two extra bags on the side and then the one garbage bag in there my trunk doesn't really have anything in it i have two um windshield scrapers for the ice in the winter i don't know why i have two but i do this is a roadside emergency kit my parents gave me because just in case i break down we got that and then i have this little mini vacuum it's not the greatest quality but it works for just small dirt so yesterday i had to get it crazy vacuumed with the big powerful ones at the wa at the car wash but this one is good for just little bits of dirt and stuff anyway that is going to be it for this week's video i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did be sure to give it a thumbs up and comment down below to let me know also be sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell to be notified every time i post a new video and i will see you guys next sunday bye